GLIMI uh, stands for Global Livestock Environmental Assessment Model Interactive. It's an adaptation of uh, the big GLIM model from FAO in an Excel file, so users, uh, producers, policymakers, researchers uh, can, run, can run it themselves at home and calculate emissions, greenhouse gas emissions from livestock supply chains, but also how to reduce those emissions. What are the technical options available and what are their potential to reduce greenhouse gas emissions? So first of all, you have to visit the Gleam page of the main FAO's website and then click on resources to download the tool. Uh, so you have here the link to download the tool and some videos uh, explaining how to use the tool as well. So you click on download and this is what you're going to get, an Excel file. So you first need to select a region and a country. Uh, so Let's take, for example, Cambodia. Um, when you do that, the tool will automatically upload all the parameters necessary to calculate greenhouse gas emissions from livestock supply chains in Cambodia. That means animal numbers in the different species and production system. For example, here, uh, dairy cattle, grassland, grassland based or mixed systems, but also parameters such as uh, the milk yield or the weight of the animals parameters about what the animals eat in the different systems in terms of percentage of their daily intake in hay, silage, uh, crop residues and so on. And parameters about manure management, how manure is managed in the different species and systems. For example, solid storage or uh, deposited on pastures and so on. And uh, based on those parameters, results are automatically calculated uh, for all the different species and production systems. So this is uh, what you get as a summary of the results with the different sources of emissions from livestock uh, in, in Cambodia. You also can compare those results that are based on tier 2 calculation in Glimai to tier 1 level of calculation. And you see that in that case, enteric fermentation is significantly lower when you calculate with tier 2 than with tier 1. Based on those results, you can look at the different um, sources of emissions uh, and think about the mitigation options you may want to study. For example, here, enteric fermentation is very significant in the total of the emissions, so you may want to work on feed quality, for example, replacing um, feed that, are, uh, that have low digestibility with a higher quality feed. But you can also work on manure or herd parameters, reducing the edge at first calving, for example, or improving the yields.